So you recently updated your iPhone to iOS 17 and you are enjoying it to its core but some of your contacts or most of your contacts which are important to all of us right are gone missing after the update are you worried about it don't you worry because in today's video i'm going to tell you nine methods you can use to retrieve back all your contacts on your iphone so this is me samir you guys are watching i vlog and without wasting any time let's start today's video so let's talk about solution number one and that is of course restart your iphone sometimes a simple restart may fix a minor glitch or issues related to your contacts which may be causing your contacts to disappear from your iPhone. Press volume up button, down button and tap and hold power button. A slider will appear and make sure you slide it and your iPhone will shut down. Wait for a few minutes and once it shut down, press and hold power button and we have successfully booted up our iPhone. After your iPhone restarts, just go into the contact app and look for the missing contacts. Have they reappeared or not? If not, then second solution is for you. In this solution, we'll gonna force iCloud to resync our contacts from cloud to our iPhone. And to do that, you need to go into the settings app, tap on your Apple ID, tap on iCloud, tap on show all, and from here, we'll gonna toggle off contact option. Select delete from my iPhone. Doing this will delete all the contacts from your iPhone but don't you worry because we're gonna bring them back by toggling it on again. So let's toggle on contacts option again. So what this will do that it will resync all our contacts from cloud to our iPhone and chances are you will get all your disappeared contacts back on the iPhone. So wait for a few minutes and recheck it if you get your contacts back or not. If not, then solution number three might come handy for you guys. So if you're like me who uses multiple accounts on their iPhone, then there is a chance that we haven't set the right account as our default for contact. And to do that, we need to go into the settings, scroll down and search for contact, tap on it. Over here, there will be an option of default account. Tap on it and select your desired default account. Once you have set your desired account as the default for your contacts app, all you need to do is go into the contacts app, refresh it, wait for some time and look for your disappeared contacts, have they reappeared or not. Still, you are not able to get back all your contacts on your iPhone, then next solution is you need to sign out your Apple ID from your iPhone, then sign in back. To do that, you need to go into the settings, tap on your Apple ID, scroll down and of course tap on sign out. After you signed out your Apple ID from your iPhone, go into the contacts app and check that all your disappeared contacts are there or not. If not, then sign in back again and this time chances are that resync will happen and all your disappeared contacts will be back on your iPhone. The only caveat is that you should have a stable internet connection. In third solution, I asked you to set default a desired account for your contacts but you can add multiple accounts and turn on sync for each and every account so that all your contacts on all your accounts will be synced on your iPhone. To do that, you need to go into the settings Scroll down, tap on contacts, tap on accounts and from here you can either add accounts or simply tap on the account you want your contacts to be synced from and toggle on contacts option. As you can see, I have made sure that all my accounts have contacts toggled on. Now we have added all our accounts and we have toggled on contacts in each and every account. Now let's check the filters in the contact app. If your contacts are still not visible, then we need to go into the contacts app and select a particular account so that we force contacts app to fetch your contact information from your account directly. So in previous method, I asked you to add multiple accounts which have contact information. Now we'll gonna set contact filter right because of which you might not be able to see all your contacts. To do that, you need to go into the contacts app over here and tap on lists. And from here, you need to select all contacts. And as you can see, all the contacts will be visible over here. Earlier, it could be set to iCloud, Gmail or Outlook. 
because of which my iPhone won't be able to show me all the contacts. So by setting my contact list to all contacts, all the information of my contacts will be visible on my iPhone. If none of the methods work for you, then my friend, you need to restore your iPhone from iCloud backup, which includes your contact. So this will revert back your iPhone to earlier state where your contacts were present. And this will also delete any recent data you have on your iPhone and haven't backed it up. To do this, you need to go into the settings, general, scroll down, transfer and reset iPhone, erase all content and settings. So after you have reset your iPhone, now it's the time that you restore it using your iCloud backup. So before resetting your iPhone, make sure you are in a particular area where you have a proper Wi-Fi connection. After restoring, chances are that all your disappeared contacts will reappear in your contacts app. So restoring iPhone didn't fix any problem of yours. Then the last thing you can do is, is reset all the settings after you have restored your iPhone. And to do that, you need to go into the settings app, scroll down, general, again scroll down, Tap on transfer or reset iPhone, reset and tap on reset all settings. After doing this, all the settings of your iPhone will go back into the default state and chances are all the contacts you were looking for will be back in your contact app. And God forbid, if you are still aren't able to get back your disappeared contact on your iPhone, then you should take help from third party app. And I'm going to tell you one thing that this method is not 100% successful. It might work for you, might not work for me. It depends on case to case. So if you're still facing this issue i'll request that you just download i my phone or your know, share or some data recovery tool like this and try it again on your iphone and how did you find my video is it helpful or not how can i improve just write it down in the comment section while you are down there make sure to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any amazing content useful content like this and go to app store download igp app and enjoy everything apple content and some amazing wallpapers on this note this is me samir signing off and I'm going to see you in the next one till then tata see ya bye bye